you've ever built a hot rod or taken on a project that seemed monumental, then you know exactly how I feel about the Apache Max. This thing is, uh, it's been love and hate over the past two years. And we're excited to get back on target here. I got a new tech on staff, his name is DJ, and he has been, he's been rocking and rolling on the Apache Max. So let's, uh, let's get back to it, man. When we left off with the Apache Max, we still had it over at Brett's shop, we were with Phil. The guys had just gotten it out of paint and we were just kind of getting things squared away and ready to come back to our shop. We've made a lot of, a lot of slow progress over the past few months. Um, and I want to take you through and kind of bring you back up to speed on the stuff that, uh, that we haven't shown you since the last video and then get you to where we're at today. Okay, so in order to make smoke, we need to have fuel. And that was one of the first things we did when we got the truck back into our shop is install this fuel cell, nice braided lines that go underneath to the, to the low pressure pump. And I'll show you those in just a second. Kind of sucks to have to drill through this wood floor to mount stuff like that. But in order to put our water tank underneath, we just didn't have any room for the drive line, the water tank, and all the other stuff underneath along with the fuel cell. So we're gonna keep the fuel cell up here. My hope is to put a tonneau style bed cover on this truck eventually. So you shouldn't see it, but um, let's put it back up in the air and I'll take you underneath. So right next to me here, I have our Fast 150 system, and that's gonna supply our low side fuel to this truck. We're making a lot of power. We wanna make sure we have a good supply of fresh fuel to the truck. You can see it's mounted to the cross member, which holds the cab. And we used, uh, <laughs> we used some really nice show quality uh, Dash 8 lines with all anodized fittings. It really, really sets the truck off and looks professional. With the amount of time and energy we spent on this truck, it's just one of those things that we thought we need to do. So while I have you underneath here, i bring your attention to a couple other things we did down in the frame rail. One of them is this water pump, and this water pump is going to be for the air to water intercooler system, which we're in the process of installing today, and then the battery. Uh, there's not much room in the engine compartment. We're kind of tight as it is, so we put as much stuff under the truck as we could because we got a lot of room under here. So we've got our battery uh, mounted underneath, solidly underneath the truck. Okay, so now we're topside on the truck and you can see quite a few, quite a few things have changed here. Uh, starting up front, so we had a big <laughs> four core, extra, extra tall, extra deep uh, radiator built. And the cool thing about this radiator is that it is a, a copper and brass deal, um, the old style. We elected not to use an aluminum radiator because we want to keep the truck looking original where possible. Um, you can see our friends at WC Fab have done some work for us here. We have our air to water intercooler, um, mostly plumbed over there. Uh, DJ is going to be working on that a little more today. We have our air inlet there on the passenger side without the filter on it. See, I have an air conditioner comp condenser or compressor on here. Uh, the truck is going to have air conditioning. Another cool deal is we had the uh, master painted. We actually had to shorten the, uh, the reservoir because it with interference issue with the hood. That was kind of an interesting project. Put all fresh brake lines on the truck. Because of the body lift, we had to extend the hydro boost lines. And, um, you know, DJ's made a lot of progress on the wiring and just getting the harness and, and that kind of stuff set topside. You can see he's got a few a fuse panels in the ECM mounted over here as well. So now that you kind of know where we're at on the engine and underneath the truck, um, let's head under there, drill that hole in the bed to get the, uh, get the reservoir set up for the air to water intercooler, and then start hooking some lines up and making some progress. That's pretty close to where yeah, the hole's gonna be drilled. Too. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Um, just gonna make sure it's centered as best we can get it. Okay, so DJ just drilled our hole in the bed of the truck and that's gonna be for the fill for our water tank. Now this water tank is for our air to water intercooler, which we're gonna use on the truck in place of an air to air intercooler, which is typical on any turbocharged diesel that you see off the factory showroom floor. The reason we're using an air to water intercooler is one, because we don't have very much room under the hood of this truck, especially in front of the radiator. We just don't have the room to put the air to air core. And two, because this truck is primarily gonna be used for, well, street driving and sled pulling. Um, sled pulling, the truck is moving 20, 25, 30 miles an hour down the track, and air to air core does not cool off that charge very efficiently at that speed. So if your truck is drag racing, an air to air core works really well and cuts down on the weight, but if it's sled pulling, 
not very efficient. An ice box and an air to water intercooler will take a ton of heat out of that uh, turbocharging system, which will make the system much more consistent, reliable, keep our piston temperatures down, our EGTs down, just make the truck last a lot longer and uh, you know, work better for us. Okay, we're back up topside here to the more glamorous section of the intercooling system. This is our Precision 1000 horsepower intercooler. It's got a nice big air to water core on it. It's gonna take that hot boost off the turbocharger, run it through this core, cool it down with that ice cold water. Now, nice cool boost back into the engine. You can see we got a one inch fitting on this side for water in, one inch fitting on this side for water out. Boost tap to pick up our boost pressure. It's a simple system, but it's gonna work really well cooling off this hot engine. Uh, we got some wiring to do, we got some other stuff to do to, to get us rocking and rolling, but we're getting our momentum back and I'm really excited to have DJ cranking on this project. I'm excited to see you next time. I'm Nick, thanks for watching.